Now, from postal delays to travel misery and issues with your heating your homes, if Christmas is feeling a little chaotic, you're not alone. So, if you need some advice, don't worry, we have it for you here. Alice Beer has got all the help you might need. Alice, a lot to, to get through here. Yep. So the headlines are British Gas, OK, and then we've got trains, and then we've got Royal Mail. So exactly. the, the big headlines. OK, so, yeah, I mean, life is really trying us this week. We're up to here with stress. We're trying to do a cost of living crisis on a budget, and things are really falling apart. Um, so we've got to just take stock and work out what we can do to empower ourselves to get to next weekend and make everything come together. Um, and when you see, you know, items like your last guest getting an arm for Christmas, let's get some perspective on yeah. it. OK, so first and foremost, British Gas and their home care service contract. That's like an insurance that you take out um, to cover you should anything go wrong with your boiler, your heating system. And it's kind of, you're paying for that peace of mind, you're paying for a prompt response. Now, um, they're reported to have left thousands of people in uh, households in the lurch in the coldest week for a decade because they just can't get engineers out to people in time. Now, this has been a problem over the last year as well, and the Financial Conduct Authority had a go at British Gas and worked with them because this is a financial product you're buying you're saying I'm paying you money that you're going to provide this service to me and if they're not providing that service if they're saying to you yeah I know we promised to come out within 24 hours and 48 hours then actually um, you're not getting what you're paying for so they've broken their contract so of course you have rights but actually what you want to do is get your boiler fixed now I will say that they do have British Gas have told me or Centrica who obviously are British Gas have told me they have 350 more engineers working at the moment um, than they did last year. Obviously, the weather has been exceptional, so they're under a huge amount of pressure. Um, they are getting to the elderly and the young and the vulnerable. And I know that because my parents called them last week and they were there within 24 hours. But they are not always getting to everyone else. And if you've got a policy with them and you're paying some £260 a year, that's what you want. So what do you do? What's the answer? You ring British Gas and you have a discussion with them and you say, look, I've called my local gas safe very important, trusted engineer, and they can come out to my boiler tomorrow and get me back on the road again. You can't come out until next week. So, therefore, you are not fulfilling your part of the contract. I'm going to hire that person and I'm going to seek recompense from you. Now, British Gas have... They won't promise they're going to do this, but they have done it in the past. They have repaid people their bills from other people um, just to get them back and working. So, I think... Have the conversation with British Gas first... Find out when you can get a local plumber, a good one, to come out or a, a heating engineer to come out and then hire them, get them in, fix your boiler, first and foremost, get your heating. And if you've got someone elderly, vulnerable or a child in your house, let them know because they are prioritising. They've got 95 per cent of uh, elderly and vulnerable people got somebody out within 24 hours on this home save programme. It's not a good policy for everyone, but it does work for some. So that's a little bit of power if you're suffering under that. If you have a boiler person, get their mobile number. Yeah. And do not <laughs> let that number ever leave your phone. I know, I know. And when you find one, it's, it's absolute gold mm. dust. My service is booked in for next March at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah, this job doesn't always pull the strings. OK, let's do trains next. So, obviously, we've just come out of a weekend of train hell. You know, if you had people coming to visit you, my daughters were coming back from uni and trains were cancelled. Next weekend's going to be even worse. The train strikes continue. They're going through until January um, from 6pm on the 24th until 6am uh, on the 27th, but the repercussions will be much wider. Train service is going to be reduced. They're going to be delayed. They're going to be cancelled. They're going to be packed. If you can change your journey to get home earlier this week and work from home or whatever, obviously you're on a shift, you can't do that, do it. Travel early, travel now. Avoid the situation where you're looking for uh, reclaiming tickets or finding other ways to get there. Travel early. Honestly, it's going to be chaotic next weekend. It always is Christmas weekend. It's going to be really bad. It will have a huge impact. Um, if you don't know yet whether your journey, your specific journey is affected, go on to the National Rail Inquiry's journey planner. You put in your journey and it will tell you the date and time. It will tell you whether you're going to be running, what the service is going to be. If you want to cancel it um, and find another journey earlier, they're going to let you do that under most circumstances. 
If you are late, don't forget, you've got rights. If you're late, if you're um, you know, delayed, if you're cancelled, you've got financial rights. You can get compensation. They're all online. I'm going to put a link to them on my, my social media. Uh, is that but... Travel Journal? Is that updated regularly? Yeah, absolutely. It will be is updated. It live? Yeah, it's live. So it's, you know, it's really... You've got to look at your independent journey. And if you have repercussions, like you have to stay in a hotel, in certain circumstances, they are going to repay you for that. But please try and avoid that situation by travelling now it's rather than next week. Stress, weekend. like the money, getting money back doesn't get rid of the oh, stress no. it causes. Exactly. Like, it's so stressful. Let's it's go awful. straight into deliveries. People having a lot of problems with deliveries. Obviously, the, real, uh, the Royal Mail strikes, which are continuing, have uh, sent lots of people relying on independent courier companies, you know, um, consumer group, which found last year that 40% of people had problems with their deliveries. I, you know, it doesn't surprise me. There's enormous pressure on them. These independent delivery people who are self-employed are running around like crazy. My local one in my village is delivering 200 parcels a day um, and obviously not getting paid a massive amount to do it. So there is a lot of stress. Do not contact your delivery company, your courier company. Do not go to the depot. You have a contract with the retailer. The retailer is who you contact. You do not contact the, the courier company. You will never get through to them and they'll never let you into the depot to go and find your parcel. If the worst happens to the worst, print out a blooming picture of what you're giving as a gift and put it in to a box, wrap it up and say, this is what you're going to get in January and you will get it. Nobody cares about that. We're all in the same boat. But they have the company has a right, you know, they have to get you your parcel within a certain amount of time. If you paid extra for special delivery and you don't get that special delivery, reclaim that amount of money. Just keep all your receipts. Is it too late to order anything now? Will you no, get no, it in time? No, no, M&S are still saying you can get things on time. My advice is update your safe place. Leave in a safe place. If you don't have a safe place, then don't, um, don't get it delivered to that. Or go and collect it from a shop. So I ordered a pair of trainers for my godson yesterday. They said they'd be delivered to a, a, a shop, a local shop, on the 30th of December. I've just had notification they're going to be there tomorrow morning. Order to go to collect from a local shop, a local co-op or Tesco's or whatever. Um, and then you're much more likely to be able to go and physically get the parcel rather than wait yeah. for it to come to your door. Do you know, do you know why she's asking? Why? Because you haven't done your Christmas shopping No, Jackie. Don't. She's got no turkey. No, don't tell Alison. Half, the country, tell Alison. half the country are coming to her house for Christmas dinner. No turkey. Oh, Alison's oh I've coming. got a brilliant company. They'll sort you out. OK, all right. Oh, amazing. I'm not telling amazing. you, though. All right. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, I don't appear to have a Ferrari, Alice. Find what your you local person. You <laughs> I just think we put so much pressure on ourselves yeah. this time of year. We've got to learn that, you know, everything is not that bad and we've got to learn to enjoy it. Absolutely. Be in the moment. Yeah. The present, not the present. You on holidays now? Is that you? I am, yeah! Hey! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Alice. Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you, Alice. Thank Thanks. you. Uh,